Welcome to Lightcraft Academy. This is a preview of what this background might look like in a jet set scene. Welcome back to Lightcraft Academy. I need to hire that guy. I could not have said that any better myself. It's great to be back on a green screen back in Southern California temporarily. Soon headed up to a remote Alaskan Eskimo village uh, on the Yukon River with four students where we will continue doing the sort of virtual production jet set that we did a year ago, September. But it's great to be back on, uh, on my home turf. The theme today, I, I want to talk briefly about this, this epiphany. I've been using Midjourney since day one for this channel and really it's been my go-to for designing backgrounds. But I'm noticing now that we have other options as well. Uh, and when I go to a voiceover, I'll explain a little bit. I want to revisit that topic later on. What I really want to focus on today uh, is another discovery and potentially a frustration when you are, or when I am designing sets, it has been difficult to design a single set like this living room, uh, but design it with different uh, time of day. It's hard to replicate a set and, and change the daylight to nighttime, dusk, dawn, midnight, broad daylight uh, without the AI changing the backdrop. What I've been looking for is a way to recreate the backdrop with the same couch and the same chair and the same tables and the same plants and everything else, but instruct the AI to change it to, let's say, a nighttime shot. What if we could do this? Now I am in this very, very same room, but it's nighttime and I'm using Beeble uh, to do some relighting. This is really powerful because now set designers, uh, and if, if I'm talking to students, in your case, your students or professionals, we can now design the same set for scenes that might take place uh, at night, daytime, early morning, late afternoon. Let me go to a voiceover and I'll show you how I am doing that. I have just begun to investigate alternatives to Midjourney's text to image capabilities versus some emerging AI options. And in this one comparison, I fed the same exact prompt into Midjourney, and again, in this case, Artlist.io. And while both renders were decent, the Artlist seemed just a little bit sharper and perhaps more detailed. I will have a better comparison in the next Lightcraft Academy. Our topic today is taking a backdrop and changing the time of day. Again, Artlist.io's image to image option continues to hit it out of the park. And by the way, I'm still experimenting with Beeble. I have by no means mastered this particular AI software. This set of an abandoned church can be relit with ease. And notice the basic image is not altered as I instruct the AI model to render the room with different commands to change the ambiance, but not the original structure. In this jet set backdrop from a previous episode, the Spanish inspired living room can be rendered for a day and night scene. We've also seen a daytime and nighttime render of our backdrop for today's Lightcraft Academy but how about a sunrise and a sunset version? Pretty cool. And welcome back. And so that is pretty cool. Uh, I'll come back to this in a later lesson, but now we can really have some fun designing sets uh, that will work in a variety of situations uh, throughout the day, throughout the evening. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it just was a matter of waiting for the AI to catch up. At any rate, it has caught up. Uh, please, please subscribe as I always beg. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back in just a few days. Take care.